Hi guys, welcome back. We have got a math lesson today. I've had some people asking me for some algebra. Um, there are also some other bits and pieces people have been asking for, but it will take me a little while to get through it. But we're gonna do the basics, algebra the basics. So um, we're gonna go back to basics because we haven't probably done this for a little while. There is a worksheet um, in the uh, description. So if you, I'm pointing down, you can't see me pointing. So down below there is a, um, a worksheet there for you to download or you can just look at it online that's fine um, it's a PDF so you can look at it online or you can download it if you so choose and print it out entirely up to you but with algebra it can be a bit confusing but basically it's a bit like a number puzzle and a lot of the time with algebra we are using the inverse now the inverse is the opposite so the opposite of addition is subtraction the opposite of multiplication is division and same the other way around, division, multiplication, subtraction, addition. So the first thing we need to do is figure out some very simple sums. So with this one here, we're looking at 4 times something equals 20. Now if I wanted to, I could then do 20 divided by 4. So I'm going to let you guys work that out. Then something minus 6 equals 10. So really what I need to do is 10 plus 6. So I'll let you guys work that out as well. 49 divided by something equals 7. Well, we can figure that one out as well. 7 times something equals 49. Um, and then with the last one, we can do something plus 12 equals 22. So 22 take away 12 must be what the answer is here. So if you want to pause it and work those out, that's fine. Okay, so we know that. 4 times 5 equals 20. So these are quite simple equations that we're doing. 4 times 5 equals 20, or 20 divided by 4 equals 5. This next one, something minus 6 equals 10. Well, 10 plus 6 is obviously going to be equal to 16. And then 49 divided by something equals 7. If we know our 7 times tables, we know 7 times 7 is 49. So we can work that one out relatively easily. And then something plus 12 equals 22. So if we have a look there, the answer is 10. Um, because 22 take away 12 equals 10. So we're just going backwards. We're working backwards a little bit. So how is this algebra, I hear you ask? Well, if we have a look at these sums again, we can see here we've got our 4 times 5 equals 20. So really, if we leave the box there, we can pretend the box, instead of being a number or a box, is a letter. So 4 times A. 4 times A, A equals 5. So 4 times A, or... If we're doing it this way, we don't use the X because we use a lot of letters in algebra. So if you've got a number next to a letter, it just means you multiply it. So instead of 4 times A equaling 20, it's 4A. 4A basically means the same as 4 times A. So 4A equals 20. And it's the sums we did before. You can see there. Now we just take the box away and we, and we replace it with a B. So B minus 6 equals 10. We still do... 10 plus 6 equals B, and we still come up with 16. This one, oh, made a mistake here. 49, there we go. 49 divided by Y equals 7. We still need to do 7 times something, so instead of it being a box, we turn it into a Y, and we still know that 7 times 7 equals 49. And with this one here, um, P plus 12 equals 22. So 22 take away 12 must equal what's in the box, or 22 take away 12 must equal P. So we know that P equals 10, Y equals 7, you can see there, B equals 16, and we know that A equals 5. And just remember, if it's next to each other, 4A means 4 times A. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is, if we've got 4, 6A, it equals 24, so that basically means... 6 times something equals 24, or 24 divided by 6. But remember, 24 equals 6a. So 6a equals 24. We can switch it around and do 24 equals 6a. It doesn't matter whether we do it this way. It doesn't matter whether we do it this way. It all comes out the same in the end. So 6 times something equals 24. What is that? Exactly. So we know that A equals 4. So 6 times something, it was 24. We do our four times, uh, 6 times tables. 6, 12, 
18, 24. So that's four, okay? So if that's the case, I would like you to have a go at these and then I just want you to pause them. Pause for me and have a go at those. Off you go. Okay, so n plus five equals 23. So 23 take away five must equal 18. So 18 plus five equals 23. So n must equal 18, well done. 18 equals 9c, remember that is nine times something. We know that 18 is nine times two. So c must equal two. D minus 14 equals six. Six plus 14 equals 20. So D must equal 20. The next one, 7Q equals 28. So seven times something equals 28. Seven, 14, 21, 28. So it must be seven times four. So Q must equal four. The next one is R divided by 12 equals three. Three times 12 equals 36. So 36 divided by 12 equals three. So R must equal 36. And the last one, 16 plus Y equals 19. Well, this one's easy. So we do 19, take away 16, and that gives us three. So 16 plus three equals 19. So Y must equals 19. So there's some of those in the description below, but we are not done yet because the next thing you might need to do is to balance equations. Now this sounds really complicated, but it's just making sure that either side of the equal sign adds up or uh, multiplies together or divides or, or, or subtracts to make the same. I'll explain what I mean with some pictures. So, n, si n plus six is the same as, it must balance on the scales, n plus six must be the same as 15 minus five. Well, I know that 15 minus five makes 10. So if I put there on this side, that on this side of the scales, it's 10, because 15 minus five is 10, then something plus six must equal 10. So what do I need to add to six to get to 10? I need to add four, so n must equal four. So if I do four plus six on this side of the scales, it again makes 10. We can see there we've made 10. So n plus six, so four plus six is the same as 15 minus five. It's just got to equal. So we have the same here. Six times something equals 10 plus eight. So 10 plus eight we know is 18. 10 plus eight we know is equal. So we've got our equal sign here. So what is six? What do we need to times six by to get to 18? Well, let's do our six times table, six, 12, 18. So we've got 18 on this side and we must make sure that that then is six times three. So N must equal three. N equals three, okay? So if that's the case, have a go at these one, two, three, four. I will pause the video, or I won't pause the video, you can pause the video. I'm not pausing, you pause. Um, you can pause the video and have a go at those and I'll just pause for a, for a moment and let you have a go at that. Okay, so if I have a look at this one, um, 28, 20 plus eight is 28. So seven times something must equal 28. So we're trying to get to here, um, we're trying to get to 28. If I can make that work. 28, so we know that seven times four is equal to 28. So N must equal four because I'm doing seven times N, N is four. This one over here, we're doing five times seven. So five times seven, I can work that out. I do my five times tables, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I know what I'm trying to find here is 35. Um, I need to take something away from 50 to get to 35. So 50 take away 35 is 15. So N must equal 15. N must equal 15. So I will probably write it out as um, N equals 15. That would just be my answer, quite simple. So let's get rid of that so we don't get confused. Um, over here, N plus four equals 11 minus five. Well, we know that um, 11 minus five is, well, let's count backwards, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, so six. So something plus four must equal six. Six take away four. So over this side, N must be equal to two. 
2 plus 4 is the same as 11 minus 5. And our last one, um, 25 minus 4 equals 7n. So 25 minus 4 is going to be 21. And if we have 21 there, we know 7 times something equals 21, or 21 divided by 7 equals 3. If we do our 7 times, uh, sorry, 4. So we do our 7 times sable, no, 3, yeah, 3, 3, 7, 14, 21. Confusing myself now. So n equals 3 because 7 times 3 equals the same as 25 minus 4. I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you do need to go back over it, pause it, rewind it, go back a bit, um, then please do. But if you have a look down below in the description, there is a PDF, a worksheet for you to have a go at. Have fun. Um, we're going to be doing some more algebra lessons and we're going to be getting just ever so slightly more complicated. But this was just a reminder for you guys. I hope you're all well. Um, I hope you're um, staying in. I hope you're keeping safe. And um, I really, really hope to see you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye.